Welcome back to IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con 2018. I'm Terry Schwartz. The Walking Dead is one of the biggest shows on television, and as compelling as the drama between this band of survivors might be, it's always a relief to see their real-life counterparts getting along here so well at Comic-Con. So joining me is the cast of The Walking Dead in the flesh. Please welcome Andrew Lincoln, Norman Reedus, Lauren Cohen, Denai Guerrera, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yay. And this, this is a very special uh, appearance as well because I know, Andrew, yesterday on the, the panel you confirmed that this is going to be your last season with The Walking is that, Dead. Is that right? I think, Did I do that? I think yeah. so. I think so. I'm so, not so sure. All right. Well, at least that you might be taking some time off yeah. uh, for right now. Yeah. So to Trampoline celebrate, to celebrate, kids. and uh, we needed to keep Jeffrey separate from everyone because obviously uh, Negan is in his cell. We saw that teased in the trailer. But Negan has some of the most scene chewing dialogue on the show. And so I wanted to give you guys all an opportunity to have some of the, the fun that Jeffrey clearly has. <laughs> so we have some uh, choice uh, selects from Negan's speeches that I'm gonna give you guys. And I would love each of you, if you're, you're up for it, and I'll let you pick your favorites, to do your best Negan reads and we'll have Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey score and see. Maybe, oh, maybe one of you guys. Wow. <laughs> I've got there's there, there's some I big judging? ones. Boy, you can swap. You can just do a couple I mean, lines. I so got the wrong. Like I got the short story. Look how much dialogue. Did we get the short story? This is how much I talk. I'll be getting a check for this. I'm going to enjoy this a lot. Whoever, whoever wants to go first. Yeah. Drum roll. Oh, let you. Tell me about it. You want Norman, to my Norman. Life. Me first? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh -huh. What the hell are you doing, <laughs> Rick? No, Why are you fighting? <laughs> Why are you making this so hard? <laughs> Carl is dead. Because, <laughs> because you couldn't bleep well enough alone. Wow. He is dead because of you. <laughs> Uh, because you weren't there to stop him from doing something stupid. You set this course, Rick. Oh. Oh. What's next? Oh That's hot. Wow. Thank you. That was exhausting. That's, 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 it's, it's not all right, that's He's take one. Worst. We're going to, no. Oh, yeah. I, mean, that was I don't know well. that we need to do any more. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of anyone, did you want to give it a shot? I'll give Andy? it a shot. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Come on. Pissing our pants yet, boy? <laughs> Do I have a feeling we're getting close? <laughs> yep, it's gonna be pee pee pants time real soon. Which, which one of you pricks is the leader? Mm. Hi, you're Rick, right? I'm Negan. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not appreciate you killing my man. Also, when I sent my people to, oh, there's so much. To say. <laughs> Enough. Can we got the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the point. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Got I got money. Awesome. Awesome. Deny. She's still reading it. She's. <laughs> it's oh, a lot. God. It's a mouthful. No, I switched that out. Oh, you yeah. got. I hear it's a mouthful. I was like, no, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I haven't, I didn't hear you say this, so this is gonna be really weird. Well, you get the vibe. <laughs> wow, you really want this. <laughs> of course. I will sort, do it then. Sort of uh, captured it. Nah, I'm guessing. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Let me do this now. Oh, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm guessing. Nah, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta lay back. <laughs> A lot of you fine folks thought that I was dead. <laughs> Chewed up and never to be crapped out again. <laughs> well, here's a little refresher for who the hell I am. <laughs> I wear a leather jacket. <laughs> I have Lucille. <laughs> My nutsack is made of steel. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. not, not. I'm not dying enough until I'm damn good and ready. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I mean, obviously, like, you guys clearly have such a blast and exhausting. adore each other. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I, can't, I don't know how you keep up the energy to do it. But, but Andy, I did want to, you know, talk a little bit about your announcement yesterday. You talked a bit on the panel um, about why it was time for you to, to leave the show. But I'm curious, like, do you get a say? You've been in the show since the beginning, like, in how, how this exit happens. Like, does it have to be a death? Uh, or can it be sort of, like... 
No, I mean, I spoke about this earlier. Uh, Angela Kang, our new showrunner, who's doing an incredible job, she uh, called me up before the beginning of the season and outlined uh, the character arc. And, uh, and I just said, that sounds incredible. This is exciting. And the final episode, I think, is uh, competing for my favorite episode since the pilot. So I had no qualms with what she suggested and what she offered up. And uh, I think it it sort of shoots the rest of the season into a completely different stratosphere. And I think everybody on this, uh, on this, in this room and back home in Atlanta is killing it this season. It's going to be an amazing, amazing year. I love when you guys come to Comic-Con because you always have that killer trailer. You give us that release date. We know that Walking Dead's coming back uh, October 7th, but I imagine that it must be hard for you guys because you're pretty deep into the season at, at this point and we have no idea what's to come. So can you guys give me some like coded teases that are like very cryptic uh, to get people excited about what they can expect? There's going to be something really cool that's happening. <laughs> This is no good. This is go-to. Yeah. 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 Well, I am curious. Like, it, it seemed in the trailer like there is like some competing ideas of how best to run this new society. I, I think people are assuming maybe that Daryl might become the de facto leader. But what can you say about who is in charge? You know, nobody can replace Rick Grimes. That's not even. We're not even trying to do that. Uh, that would be impossible. But I think all of the characters are kind of stepping into different, I mean, the whole show itself is morphing into a new flavor of the show. And it's, it's every, everybody's got a lot to do. Michelle's got a ton to do. Lauren's got a lot, everybody has a lot to do. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's adapting to fill different stuff, but no one's ever trying to be the new leader. It, he's the quarterback of this team. He will always be the quarterback. Deny, if I'm not mistaken, there's a shot in the trailer where Michonne is actually holding Lucille, right? Am I making that up? Ooh. I have no idea. <laughs> no, what's that? I mean, like, that, that is just such, like, a probably physically heavy, but also, like, heavy imagery. It's made um, of rubber. <laughs> is it really? No, it is not. <laughs> Cotton. But, it's made of lead. But what can you, what can you sort of tease about, about that scene and maybe, like, what that sets up for what's ahead for Michonne? Well, I mean, Michonne is definitely going through a lot of very interesting, uh, transitions in the transition you know we do this awesome time jump so we're like a year or so uh, past where we were and you know there's a sort of a society a sort of structure that she's trying to build with Rick and and they have a, an ideal of what they're trying to build it to hence this dude's still alive because um, you know other way in other way times he would have been long gone diced diced for ratings delayed <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so yeah, she's dealing with that, like the, the idea of creating this new sort of society and, and bringing it to pass, but still having, you know, this warrior in her that, uh, you know, has a whole other sort of instinct to it. So how do those two things marry and how do they um, project themselves or clash or burst out of her when she's not prepared for it. So that's kind of this journey she's on. I cannot wait. Now, I also I have like plenty more questions, but we are running out of time. So I do want to ask, uh, we heard that John Bernthal is going to be coming back as Shane this season in some capacity, some mysterious capacity. Who told you that? What? Uh, oh. The internet. Wow. The internet. Oh, oh, oh no. I am I just not a <laughs> he, he just wanted to get some free stuff from <laughs> Nick and Noel, his <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> We just yeah, he just came for a burger. That yeah. was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A turkey burger. Yeah, yeah. a turkey burger. Okay, yeah. that's a scoop. And he got He's a hoodie, a, burger, yeah. a really cool hoodie that he, did he got, and you've never given to anyone else. Uh, oops. Hmm. Uh, I'll give you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well. Cool. Then. Then I will ask. Uh, in terms of Angela, uh, your new showrunner, what do you think her overall vision for this season is? Oh, good question. I don't know about vision, but I know about pace and story and. I just have to say, like, we've all already said this, but it's been so awesome. These definitely, like, these first six episodes, it's all of us together, like, interacting in a way that we haven't really gotten to do since the first couple seasons of the show. So I think people will have that. That's what's in store for fans, is to see a lot of, a lot of interaction between us. Talking. Talking. Also, also, Talk, but also kicking butt. Yeah, and Cowboys and Zombies is basically what we're doing yeah. this season. It feels yeah. like a Western. The, the shots on horses and stuff. I mean, not only did it feel like a callback to season one, but also just looked so freaking cool. So mm. it seems like you guys are totally having a blast. Thank you so much for coming by. Season nine of The Walking Dead premieres October 7th on AMC. We've got plenty more Comic-Con 2018 when we get back. Mm -hmm.